the same Detroit. And the same Detroit. It's not the same. What's up, Touchdown Nation? Watch this clip by CJ Gardner Johnson talk about what the blue ski mask takes and means to the city of Detroit. Once I'm done playing this clip, I'm going to come back with my thoughts because I got a lot to say. You haven't played in Ford Field yeah, in, regular, yeah. in a regular season game with the crowd. You're no experience. Yeah. No experience a little in the preseason. They got a little out there. Yeah. Nothing like Sunday. You going to see them Sunday. Blue ski mask everywhere. Okay, what is the ski mask? Yeah, what is the ski mask? Um, you'll figure it out. Because it's going over here. It, it's ski mask. I started work figuring it what out. What Cole Brad said. We villains, right? Yeah. Man. Yeah. So the fans should wear ski masks? Yeah. Part of us. It's the culture. I'm changing it. Blue ski mask. Yeah, you're going to get you one. You want one? Uh, yeah. No more paper one? bags. <laughs> ski masks? No paper bags. Ski mask. We taking what's ours. Well, you want the fans? Say it again. <laughs> it's a new shares in town. CJ Gardner Johnson just might be my favorite player in the NFL right now, uh, just for this week at least. Man, what a statement he is making. He is rallying the troops, man. When you make a statement about what the blue ski mask and like they already treat us as villains already, dude, that's crazy. So not only are you are underdog, but you're also a villain. Man, I love this. Like this is this is what you call truly buying into the system we got players and like detroit isn't like a fun place to go i don't mean to dis, dis or disrespect the city of detroit that's like blue collar city americana i love detroit but people rather be in a miami right they they rather be in the la they rather be in h-town you'd rather be in a new york right places where there's stuff to do you know heck you can even drink drink tons of beer and eat great barbecue over in nashville right <coughs> but what i'll take and i'll say is that Detroit, you really got to buy, like Green Bay, you have to buy in to be there. These blue ski masks, uh, don't be shocked. And I'm going to throw a prediction out there. Don't be shocked if NFL.com or Fanatics has their version of a blue ski mask. And don't be shocked if there's some type of lawsuit that follows behind it. <laughs> but I love this, man. It's bringing that dog culture out of there, man. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of this, man. I, I can't say how much I love this interview. Uh, look, from a Miami Dolphins fan to a Detroit Lions fan, I can say how much I appreciate your guys' fan base, right, for sticking by your team. Like, if you're a Lions fan, oh, you're loyal to the soil, right? You know what I mean? Now uh, you're going to start to see some bandwagon Detroit Lions fans, just like there's a bunch of new bandwagon Miami Dolphins fans, right? But I absolutely love this, man. This C.J. Gardner, like, breaking it down and rallying the troops and telling people to wear a blue ski mask. This is this is some gangster stuff, man, and I love it, man. I love it. They say footballs went soft, and I'm like, where? I don't see it. <laughs> so I love it, man. Guys, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the blue ski mask. Are you going to wear a blue ski mask? Are you going to purchase one? Watch other teams take and copy this as well. Watch Kansas City copy this. Watch other teams copy this as well. So um, I love this, man. This is why football brings people together, man. It, it brings the underdogs, and – if there's one city in America that's an underdog city, it's the city of Detroit. Because we all know back in uh, 08, 07, when the recession took and hit, it hit those blue collar cities, man. So those manufacturing jobs gone. So uh, let's keep it real. A lot of people don't have a lot to look forward to, especially in a city like Detroit, right? They don't have a lot to take and look forward to. It's a city that has had high crime where they've lost a huge chunk of their population. They went on to other cities for greener pastures, so to speak, right? So I love this, man. I'm happy for Detroit. I want Detroit to do well. I want them to do a, a deep run in the playoffs, man. And uh, yeah, pulling for you guys this year, man. I hope you guys take and crush it. That being said, uh, tonight we got a live show, Minnesota Vikings versus the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll be doing a live show. Be sure to hop in there as well, too. Smash that subscribe button. I cover the whole entire NFL. And we'll catch y'all next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith. Thanks for watching another episode of the Touchdown with Doug Smith, where I cover all 32 NFL teams plus NFL exclusive interviews. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for the alerts, comment below, and we'll catch you next time on the Touchdown with Doug Smith.